welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jessica, and as you can see by the title of today's video, I am very excited because I'm going to be posting like Gary V for a week. I'm excited, I'm intimidated, it's going to be a lot of work, and we'll see what comes of it, what the results of doing all this hard work are for. Hopefully something good happens. Gary V, I'm putting my trust in you right now. If you enjoyed today's video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up, and if you want to stick around for more videos like this one, hit the subscribe button down below. I do upload every other day, so let's just get into the video. So in order to do this video properly, I'm definitely going to have to be super organized with my content on Instagram. I'm only going to focus on Instagram right now, and if y'all enjoy this video, maybe I'll do a different version of this, like posting all over all of my platforms, but you know... One thing at a time, people, one thing at a time. So today is the 21st, and a week ago would have been the 14th, so I'm looking up to January 14th. Oh my gosh, Gary, you post so much. Okay, now I'm gonna count how many times he posted so I know how many times I have to post, and I'm also gonna be starting this coming Monday, so I'll post Monday through Sunday, and this video is going up after that, obviously. So you can go to my account if you wanna see what the posts I posted were. He posted 29 times in one week. That is a lot. Uh. Okay, I think I'm a little in over my head, but you know, let's be positive. We can do this, people. We can do this. So out of the 29 posts, I want to count how many were videos, because video content takes a lot longer to create. Of course, if you have a whole team following you with cameras, it's a little bit easier, Gary. But you know, we're going to put in the work. So, he posted 1, 2, 3, 12, 13. 13 videos. I think I'm a little in over my head, guys. <laughs> That, that's a lot of videos to be creating. Let's go to the drawing board because I want to organize this a little bit better and figure out a game plan. I've given myself about five days to prep before I have to start posting an extreme amount of content like this. So, let me show y'all how I'm going to keep this organized. Okay, to organize our calendar to post like Gary posts, we're going to say we're going to post 29 times over the course of seven days like he did. And out of those posts, 13 of them were video, and 16 of them were photo. So when you do the math, that comes out to about four posts a day. So we're gonna break it down by day, and we're just gonna go with four posts per day. I know that isn't the exact number, but it's very close. Okay, and out of all these posts, the ones that are going to be video, I'm just going to use this highlighter to kind of differentiate which ones those are going to be. So we have to do 13 videos, that comes out to almost two a day. So, let's just start highlighting where we want those to be. So the videos are highlighted in this color, and the plain ones are going to be the photos. So because my account is mostly focused on kind of like the health and fitness space and a little bit of fashion, a lot of the videos can be workouts, fortunately. Thank God that saves me. So now we're just going to label what we want each video to be. We're going to start with a workout. Fortunately for me, workouts are a lot easier to film, so I'm happy about that. So I know Gary Vee always talks about providing value, so when I look at my account and I look about providing value, what my followers like, and then what performs well, the try-on videos, which I haven't filmed in a while, they do take a lot of effort to film, but I really enjoy it when I do. I hope y'all can see. I do these little try-on videos that are really fun, so I'm going to be posting a lot of those as well. So we're going to do a try-on here, a try-on here, another try-on. Okay, and then I'm going to also post some funny TikToks. I posted a TikTok the other day to Instagram, and it was really cute, and a lot of people liked it, so I'm going to be posting something similar to that as well. So we're going to go TikTok. And I'm going to leave these two blank, that way I can fill them in with whatever I want to put. As far as photos go, I try to keep it in the health and fitness space or in the style space, and a lot of people enjoy this little grid setup where I'm like, pick an outfit, this is like an athleisure style grid like that, so I'm going to be adding a bunch of grids, so I'm going to add one here, one here, so we have a lot of grids going on. I'm just leaving the grid marks so I know that I'm going to do a picture like this, whether or not it be a picture of three different photos of me, two or four, that way you know you can pick and choose what your favorite look is, a lot of people really like that. Also a higher engaging post on my account is this post, and it's me and my corgi, I hope y'all can see that, but I'm going to add my corgi in a lot of pictures, so to start. We're gonna put Corgi here. We're gonna do another Corgi. 
pig here, corgi here, and the last photo will also be of me and my corgi or my other dog, Roosevelt. He's just not very cooperative with photos, that's why he's not in a lot of my photos. Then for the other photos, I don't really like to post up close selfies, but we're just gonna let it happen just for the sake of trying to get as much content done as possible, and I'm trying to provide value as much as I can. But as I said, a lot of stuff that I do is in the fitness and in the fashion space, so outfit ideas is kind of like the best way to target that. So I'm just gonna post one selfie here. After looking at this chart again, I decided to change this grid photo to a lifestyle photo, such as this one. So I'm gonna add that here as well. Lifestyle, lifestyle, lifestyle. And there we have it, folks. This is our map for what I will be posting for this coming week. I have a lot of work to do, so let's just get started creating content because I have no time to waste. This is a lot of stuff, and creating video content is so challenging, so let's get to it. Okay, I'm back. It is now the next day. Sorry, I had to go to a dinner, and then there's no light, so I'm always in a race when it comes to creating content as far as like the lighting outside goes. So what we're gonna do today is start creating the content, and I'm excited. I'm gonna try to break it up in between like some of the stuff I do is fashion. Obviously, I'll have my hair curled. I'll have my makeup done all pretty and then some of the stuff that's more fitness like this is my everyday makeup like no eyeshadow I got a little bit of mascara and a little bit of stuff on so this is more of like my fitnessy type of a look I don't ever leave the house without makeup I know I'm crazy I'm one of those people I just love makeup judge me anyway so let's get this organized um I have the calendar here and we're gonna see what we can knock out today I'm hoping I can create all 28 yeah 28 pieces of content within three days I'm up for the challenge. Let's see if we can do this. Okay, this is what we're looking at right now. I'm thinking that I could tackle this one. Sorry, I'm like trying to write on my bed and it just not looking really cute right now. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And four of the ten are videos. Doing ten pieces today? Jessica, are you crazy? The answer is yes. I'm insane. This is insane. Welcome to my closet. When it comes to how I organize my content, um, I like to start getting ready and then like while I'm letting my makeup sit or my mascara dry or my hair dry or whatever, I will pick out all my outfits. So I wanna pick out the camo outfits. Um, I'm doing a shot with three different camo, like wearing three different camos. So those are the Gymshark camos. Then this is the Jed North camo. And I have another camo over here. So this is my other camo, so I'm gonna do an image with like comparing the different camos and asking which one people prefer. I find that my audience loves options, so that's kind of why I like the grid style photos because, I don't know, people are just drawn to that and they're more active in the comment section for that too. And then I've never taken a picture in this. I've actually never worn it before. It's a bodysuit, but that might be kind of pretty. I try to keep the colors like really popping and contrasting on my feed. I just think it makes it look a little bit more nice. I've also never worn this, so I guess we will do that too. That's kind of a pretty color. And for the workout videos, I wanna go with something really poppy that'll pop on camera. I also just love color in general, so it's not like I'm just wearing this to make it cute on the internet. Like, I love color so much. So, that's one outfit. Here is another with a bright pink top, and then here is another. I love this top so much. It was in my best activewear um of the year video if you haven't checked that out i'll link it down below and then these these are cheap from amazon but just really poppy different colors like as you can see we got a lot of color going on which is the way i like it so we're doing good on the little setup here okay so i'm still in my pajamas my hair is still wet but my makeup is done so what i'm gonna do is i just set this up this is kind of how a lot of people set it up. You just move your mirror in front of like a window and then you get really nice lighting. Um, I like to do my photos downstairs normally, but I wanna mix it up. So right now I'm just gonna take it in my bedroom. I'm gonna change out of my pajamas, dry my hair and get these pictures started. So I'm gonna start with the camo because I know that's gonna take a while because you gotta get three different photos in one. Okay, we got the first look of the day done. Fun fact also, if you're ever into like taking outfit pictures or creating content in this kind of a style, I don't wear deodorant when I take pictures. Now, when I work out, of course, I won't be wearing deodorant, but the reason you don't is because if you're gonna change clothes like, I don't know, a million times, you don't wanna get deodorant all over everything. So 
Just a little tip there for you that you probably never think about. Okay, now that those photos are done, I have some purple shirts here. For like those grid style photos, I either do something that's like similar or like compare and contrast. So either similar or polar opposite, but clearly I'm going for a purple moment here. I normally take my pictures downstairs. I have a different mirror downstairs. So I'm gonna go there. I actually like the lighting a lot better downstairs. So I kind of wish I would have just done that one downstairs, but whatever, it's fine. We're going downstairs now, we're gonna make it happen. Just finished up some content upstairs and downstairs and now we're gonna go to the pool. I packed a bag. I actually changed the game plan a little bit because when I'm at the pool, it's kind of hard to like change in and out of sports bras. So I just brought some crop tops to throw on top so we can knock this out and move on to more stuff. We got a lot to do right now. Okay, so we just got to the pool and I'm super stoked because there's no one here. Unfortunately, there's a ton of construction. I don't know if y'all can hear it, but luckily this is just an Instagram video, so it's not like y'all really need to hear me talk. So let's get to it. I have a mat all set up there and yeah, let's do it. Okay, I just finished my workouts. I'm feeling good. Look at this little, oh, look at that SpongeBob muscle. Yeah. Anyway, I finished a couple workouts. It went well. I'm pretty tired. I said I was gonna go to the gym later, but man, I am beat from those workouts. It's kind of fun, like doing a bunch of mini workouts in one. But anyway, I need to edit all of this stuff. I have more photos I need to take. My husband told me he would be ready to help me in 30 minutes, and it has been 30 minutes. So we're gonna drive back down to my house. This is like at the top of my neighborhood. So very lucky to have this and there's no one here. It's fabulous. Okay, let's keep the show on the road. Let's go get my doggy and make her model with me. Okay, so I'm here with my trusty friend Photographer, here, photographer slash husband, Tim, and our girl. She doesn't, she's down. She's, she's just hanging out back there. She's about to be the star of the show. So we're back at the pool. I had to run home, put up all my stuff, get new stuff. So we're making it happen. And this process is a lot easier than I thought. I might be able to be done with all of the content in two days. So I'll keep y'all updated. Melee is having a fabulous time being the star of the show right now. She just loves the attention. So we are doing good right now. What's up girls? Melee. Okay, just follow your daddy. It's fine. I'm chopped liver. It's fine. When your dog is a better model than you. Oh, never mind. She tired. What's up, girl? You're so cute. You're doing good, girlfriend. You're doing good. So we're back at the house now. I got into some comfy clothes, the clothes that I started off in. I'm gonna start editing the photos. All of those photos took about four hours to complete from the time that I started this video till now. So, or I guess they're not technically completed because they're not edited, but to take about 10 high quality content images for this little test, like social experiment we're doing, it took about four hours, just so y'all know, so. And if you're ever discouraged about making social media content on your own, just know that most of this content I made using a mirror and an iPhone tripod. It's not as difficult as it looks. My husband did help at the end, which is great, but I do have friends help too. So if you have any friends that wanna do you a solid and help you with pictures, that is great. I take pictures with some of my other friends too. So just gotta make it work, you know, like Gary Vee says, he always says, you know, no excuses and all that fun stuff. But an iPhone tripod is literally like, I think 10 bucks on Amazon and it's fabulous. I love it so much. I'll show y'all some of the edits here in a second. Okay, it is currently four o'clock right now and I'm about to go back out now that the lighting is not as harsh to try to get some more pictures, but here's what we're looking like. The boxes that are circled are the ones that I was gonna try to get done today and the ones that are X'd out, I just X'd out and finished. So as you can see, I did not get to this try on video, which is totally fine because I added on others. Like I filmed a TikTok randomly and I added it here and then I filmed a lifestyle one and added it here. So I got two that weren't even on the list today. So we're looking pretty good right now. I think I got about 12 so far. We're gonna go try to do a few more for today and then the rest should be all video content tomorrow, hopefully, with the exception of like these two fashion grid looking ones. So we're doing good. I mean, this is hard, don't get me wrong, but it's not as bad as I thought it was. So let's keep going. Currently shooting the next batch of photos is after four o'clock. 
I am exhausted. I did this all without any caffeine. My makeup also looks crazy because I wiped it off and put some more on, but got lazy with it. So yeah, I definitely wouldn't recommend pushing past your boundaries as far as energy and output because I think I'm going to stop here for today. We have now half of all of the posts done, which is very exciting, but I am very, very tired and I really should have gotten a coffee today because I am exhausted. But anyway, I will see you tomorrow with some more content. It's going to be video content, so I think it's actually going to be a little bit of a harder day because video content does take a lot longer to make and to edit, but it's fine. We're going to have fun. I love making video content, so... Okay, I know I said I was done for the day and I just wanna prepare that way tomorrow. I can just wake up, shower, do my hair and makeup and start filming. So what I like to do is organize my videos. So as you can see here, this is gonna be Valentine's Day outfits and I have a pile of all the outfits that I just pulled for potential Valentine's Day outfits. And when I film try on videos, I always film more than what I need because if one of them, like I film it and I see it later and I just don't like the way it looks then I could just take that one off and not worry about the video being too short. And then over here, we have a pile of athleisure outfits. I still need to organize those, so I'll work on that right now. And then um, I was gonna do day to night, but I decided that I wanna do like gym, um, like Valentine's Day gym looks. I think that's kind of interesting and more for entertainment purposes. And then that's just like a pile I need to put up. But yeah, that's how I keep it organized. And then I just put it here on my trusty little, um, whatever you call those things, rack. So I just put them down there and that's how I know that that's what's ready to go. So I actually only use this for filming. It's not my actual closet or anything like that. So, <sighs> okay. This is a lot of work, Gary V. Holy crap. Also, another side note, I've always done this for my YouTube videos and my Instagram videos. I'm pretty sure no one notices, but that's totally fine if no one notices. But as far as making the hangers look nice, like I'm prepping this for the Valentine's Day video. So I'm doing the pink hangers in gold because it's just a little more Valentine's Day looking. And then I also have these teal ones and they look really nice. Like with all these colors, I just think like that's a total mood in itself, like very cotton candy vibes that I love. But yeah, I really go over the top and I change all of the hangers. So as soon as I take these down and put them back in the closet, I'm gonna have to put them back on regular hangers because I only have a couple of the blue and pink ones. So just fun fact. It's all about the details, y'all. It's all about the details. In case you were wondering, I'm about to shower and go to bed. These are like some of my organizational piles that I mentioned earlier. Um, it is six o'clock, so I'm probably gonna be asleep by seven. That's how crazy I'm out of hard work. I have put into this today. I am exhausted. It feels like it's freaking 11 o'clock and it's only six. Whoa. Okay, so now we are back at this list. This is now two days later because yesterday I had to do some YouTube stuff. So that's why I'm only focusing on Instagram. So, so I want to work on some try-on videos. We have one, uh, one, two, three. So I've laid out two different ones. Um, I wanted to do something different because now I'm going to be working with some brands for Valentine's Day try-on. So I don't want to do a Valentine's Day right now because then I'm going to just have like 500 Valentine's Day try-ons. But um, that one over there is ways to wear this bodysuit, the blue bodysuit. And this one is some of the athleisure items and then some more athleisure items over there. So we're going to start with this and then I'll pick out one more and let's get to it. The filming is the hardest part. And then um, the editing is actually my favorite part. So let's do it. Okay, now we are about to start filming finally. Sorry, I just have this camera set up, so I'm just gonna keep it this way. I just decided to put on my husband's shirt cause I don't wanna mess up my hair and makeup. Um, I guess I'm just gonna start this video in this and then here's all the outfits. I decided to change it a little bit. I always like angle this straight, but this time I angled it like sideways with my little plant, you know, just a little props moment. If you look around the room, I have all the other videos prepped and ready on the bed and the only lighting I'm using right now is the ring light. Normally I use the window but I know there's people outside and I'm sure that would go over well if I'm trying to change clothes for this video with the window wide open. So let me just get started and hopefully this goes well. <laughs> okay it has been about an hour. I have filmed two of these videos. I feel so lightheaded because when you're changing clothes all the time like you just gotta eat more food and you know Time's just flying by when you're working hard, you know what I mean? Literally, Beyonce says when she's like working on her stuff, she forgets to eat because she's so focused and that's how I feel right now. So I'm gonna order some Postmates to combat that problem and attempt to film the athleisure video. I believe that will be the third and last try-on video for this little 
week-long series. So let me order some food and start setting up the next video. And what the heck, I will just leave the camera on so y'all can see how I set up. So what we're gonna do is gather the pink hangers because those are the ones that I want. Now I already set up the outfits ahead of time, as you can see, but I just wanna be sure that they're exactly what I want. So I put them in order of how I'm gonna try them on on this little clothing rack. Please don't break my hanger. Oh yeah. And then we add the props. Whew, I am for real lightheaded right now. I didn't even realize until I sat down and I'm like, wow, I probably should have eaten more this morning. For some reason, I get lightheaded if I have a little bit of caffeine, but not enough food. So therein lies the problem. It's fine. I'm fine. So I looked back at this to make sure that we are all organized. I'm going to film this last try on video Then I'm going to eat and then I'm going to film. Oh, wait, I'm not going to film. I'm going to take some more pictures. So the little grid style pictures, you know what I'm talking about? So I'll start picking out outfits for the fashion version of that. This is definitely not as bad as I thought. I'm really excited to see the results and I hope you are too, because hopefully I, this just cracked the code. I would say I cracked the code, but Gary V cracked the code. We'll find out next week. Whew. Okay, I'm officially exhausted. I don't know what it is y'all about try on videos. They just make me so dang tired. I hope my food's on its way because my stomach is grumbling right now and I don't feel very good. So there you have it. Three try on videos. I've changed clothes probably like, I don't know, 25 or 30 times right now. I could use a donut right about now. What the heck did I even order? Oh, I ordered Parmesan chicken. That's what I ordered. Yes, it's going to be delicious. Okay. Sorry, random burst of energy. But anyway. So now I wanted to show y'all behind the scenes of what happens when you're done with try on videos. Can you look at that mess? Like, dear Lord, there's some more mess there. I just have stuff everywhere. It's just a hot mess right now. This is what it looks like when you do multiple try on videos. I knew, I knew this was gonna be like a challenging day because you know, that's a lot of stuff. Whoop. Also spoiler alert, I just flipped this over the previous look because I didn't feel like changing. I worked hard today, man. Okay, now I'm just gonna chill, review the footage, wait for my food, not do anything until my food gets here. So I'm about to get hangry. Thank God my husband went golfing. He's not here to hear it. So, so we'll be back in a minute, probably filming TikToks or something. Who knows? Let me look at my list. Food just got here, but low key, I just realized why all the makeup people take their photos in the sunlight because I just did that for the first time. I don't know how this many years I've been creating content and I've never done that. Game changer, game changer. It made me look golden, like a golden like a golden goddess. I can't talk. Anyway, I'll show you the difference between the sunlight and without the sunlight, like in the shade. Anyway, let me eat, I'm going crazy. Whew. Okay, I am alive again. We are racing against the sunlight. The sun is going down quickly, trying to get some photos in right now. Whew. I feel better, but I'm also really exhausted again. Oh, I need another coffee. Okay, not losing my mind, it's fine. I keep telling myself it's not that bad because it's not that bad. I just should have eaten more breakfast. That's the problem. Tomorrow I'm going to be eating a big ass breakfast to combat this issue. So let me slip on something else and try to get more pictures because I feel like I got a little bit of light. See how nice the lighting looks? A lot of people ask me how I take my mirror pictures. I just move the mirror right in front of the window. Look at that. Look at that lighting, man. Okay, let's keep going. So we are officially losing sunlight. I'm throwing in the towel. My hair is in a ponytail. I got my glasses on. Let's look at the list and see what we have left to do tomorrow. Unfortunately, my husband is still golfing, which is a bummer because I really needed his help going to the gym, um, filming some gym workouts. So let's look at the list. Okay, I took the grid pick just now. I took a lifestyle just now, a selfie, and we still have all of those left, unfortunately. So two more grid picks and all of these day three coming at you tomorrow.
So I was able to get almost everything done on the list. Sorry, I didn't film that for y'all. I took my husband to the gym. We just weren't feeling very good. The content came out okay. I don't know if I will end up using the gym footage. I'm trying not to be too hard on myself because I know Gary Vee is just like about getting content out there and not being like a stickler about it, um, which I'm proud of myself because like everything I've shot so far, I've been like, okay, it's not my favorite, but I'm still going to use it because that's what Gary Vee usually like talks about, you know, providing value, but don't be a perfectionist. But with this gym footage, I don't know if I will be using it, but at least like I got almost everything on the list done. I'm feeling good about it. So I'm excited for the launch. So stay tuned. Okay, y'all, I am so excited. It is the morning of the launch right now. And ooh, I put in so much hard work for this and I've edited a ton of stuff. Gary V was definitely not kidding when he says it does take a lot of work. I mean, I put in a lot of work throughout the years, but I've definitely bumped up, you know, my productivity levels on this and trying to get everything done in such a short amount of time. So hopefully, you know, we'll see some results from this. If anything, like this will be a learning experience for all of us. So stay tuned. I'm excited and I will keep y'all posted with how this goes. I'm trying to launch every single day's post between like 7 a.m. and 9 a.m. and then the last day the, the last post of the day will be around like um 6 or 7 p.m. so all four posts will be up between those hours so wish me luck hey everyone oh my gosh my hair looks so crazy right now I feel like I am in the 90s or something anyway I just wanted to give you all an update on what's going on right now with the account yesterday I started the Gary V posting style I was a little disappointed in the results so far but I'm I know like this is a whole challenge for a week so like don't freak out, you know what I'm saying? But yesterday I was a little disappointed because the reach on all of my stuff was pretty low. So I went back and looked at last week's posts and their reach and I got about half the reach on all of the posts yesterday, all four of them. So I was a little disappointed in that, but I did remember that I forgot to post on Saturday and I usually don't, like I post every single day and I missed that one day before this like launch of this project. So I think that that had something to do with it because my post on Sunday before the launch was also lower. So I think like the algorithm probably has something to do with like, they want you to post every single day, obviously, cause like Instagram wants you to be addicted and provide a bunch of content and stuff like that. Anyway, today is doing so much better. I launched, three of the four posts that are supposed to be going up and I'm already happy like it's growing um as far as like the views and you know more people are engaging with my posts than normal so so far so good it's only day two so I'm happy um getting a lot more comments and interactions than usual so that's super exciting so we will see how that goes I have to say it has been a struggle to think about all the other platforms I use because I try to post on TikTok every day and then I make a YouTube video every other day so keeping that all straight in my head while starting this new project, it has been a little bit difficult to like, I don't know, it gets overwhelming sometimes. But Gary V should be proud because the try on videos that I have been filming, I went ahead and posted them on TikTok as well. So getting like double the amount of exposure, which is nice. Um, and then I make them about a minute. That way I can put them on IGTV on Instagram because people say that you get more views if you do IGTV. So they're on TikTok, you know, multi-purposing the content. So... Shout out to you, Gary Vee, because I know you talk about that all the dang time. Okay, anyway, I will give you all more updates. I'm excited. Okay, now it is day three. Just to give you all a little update, um, a couple of my other influencer friends mentioned that their views were low today, like just in general, I guess, like with the algorithm, and I experienced that as well, which is a huge bummer. And then I tried to be vulnerable and posted a, like, five minute makeup video, which I never do. Like I never show no makeup on Instagram. And there were just some guys that were really rude. And that's just kind of shit because I literally posted that I was very vulnerable. Cause like, as you can see, I have no eyebrows because my skin condition made them all fall out. And I've also scratched them out cause of my skin condition. So just not having the best day. Also, it is incredibly windy. I was gonna film YouTube videos and now I can't do that. But even though it's windy, I can still film TikTok videos. So I know that like this is just kind of more content for later, not specifically for this video. Um, but I do want to keep creating. And also like fun fact, if you're a girl and you create try on videos or like cute content, I try to think ahead and girl, I know that it's going to be that time of the month soon. So I know that I need to create more content now because I look so chubby during that time. And literally people have asked if I gained weight then. And I'm just like, no, oh my gosh, y'all are so mean. I have not gained weight. It's that time. And then I look heavier. 
So um, I'm gonna create some stuff. I got sent a bunch of good stuff today. Um, I'm super excited about this. I've never worked with them. So I'm very, very happy because um, I wanted to work with them for years and then them, I work with them all the time and they're amazing. This is Princess Polly, by the way. Um, okay, let me get to some creating. Okay, so I've been working on this challenge for the last few days and I've never had my account be so inconsistent with the reach. Like normally it kind of just ranges a little bit, but during this little test experiment, it's like all over the place, which is super abnormal for me. And then lately it's been like 20,000 here, 10,000 here. I think one of mine got like 8,000. I was like, I don't think my reach has ever been that low in my entire life. So that is just very, very bizarre. And then my engagement has kind of been all over the place too. So I'm like, is Instagram thrown off because I'm putting out an abnormal amount of content for what I usually put out? Um, it's very confusing. So I guess we'll see what happens. Uh, not super pumped about that, but uh, yeah, I'll keep y'all posted. Okay, we are finally done with the Gary V posting week. It has been one hell of a week. I cannot believe how exhausting it was because literally I do this for a living for brands and I can post all the time and I'm never like overwhelmed. Um, for the first time in my life, I was seriously overwhelmed by posting and got way too mentally involved in it. Overall, my experience with this little social media experiment was not so good. Um, well, it was good and bad. I noticed that I got a ton of DMs, like an abnormal amount of DMs, which was very random. Um, I noticed I got a ton of DMs from like creepy dudes, which is very strange because I feel like my content is not geared towards men. I feel like it's geared towards women. Whoever you are, if you're a girl or a guy, if you could comment down below, go check out my account. Let me know. I'm trying my best not to make it geared towards men. Like I'm literally married. I've been doing try on, so I don't wear my ring right now, but because it snags the fabric. But it's just like really, really frustrating when you put in a lot of effort and all you get is like creepy dudes hitting on you. So um, my DMs went up, my reach went up and then down throughout the week, which was very strange. Some stuff did really well and some stuff did abnormally terrible, like the worst I've ever done in the last year, which is super, super random. Like some of my posts literally had a couple hundred likes on it, which is very, very abnormal. Normally my minimum is like maybe a thousand likes or so. It ranges between like a thousand and 2,500 normally. Um, that's how I know like if a post did good or bad. Some of the views on the try-ons were okay. I think one of them got like 5,500 views, which is okay. I mean, it's a little bit higher than I normally get, but I put in so much time and effort to this little experiment and exercise. I literally worked my butt off on that content. So it is kind of a huge disappointment that things didn't go so well. And it's not just like, oh, they did like average. They did below average on a lot, which was very strange. Like I did say early on in the week, I did have a lot of other influencer friends complaining about how their posts weren't reaching anyone. So I know that like something was going on that specific day, but for the rest of the days, I don't know. I'm like the only one that experienced that. So that's a huge disappointment. Also, I do want to note my followers are a lot lower, which is so strange. Like I've never had this big of a dip in followers before. And I think I know why. <laughs> I was getting very frustrated that I was getting creepy DMs because I, like every girl gets them. I just haven't gotten so many in such a long time. So whoever my posts were reaching to, like the new eyes that it was reaching were creepy dudes half the time. So when I kept getting all these creepy DMs, I was like, okay, I'm gonna change my bio. I literally put that I'm married in my bio. I put like wife and dog mom, I think. I added that on like halfway through the week. And then I also, posted a try on video with like cute outfits and dresses. Instead of letting creepy dudes comment, I asked the question, which one of these do y'all think is my husband's favorite? <laughs> which like, I get it. Like, okay, people unfollowed me for that. Like all these guys did, which is so strange because I don't have like an all male following. I just don't know. It's like, I'm doing this exercise and all these guys were just like, hey honey, you're beautiful. You're, uh. If you call me beautiful, great. But like, if you're gonna send me pictures and be creepy, please go away. So I had to block a couple people. And then I think I mentioned this earlier on in the week, some people were making really rude comments about my skin. Like I literally have a skin condition and I work so hard to make it look like this, like clear and smooth and not dry. And I posted a makeup tutorial with like no makeup, which I have some on YouTube, but I've never posted one on Instagram. So I was being like extra sensitive about pe how people took that video and people made rude comments and I literally had to delete them. I was like, oh my gosh, y'all are so rude. 
Overall, I'm pretty disappointed in the results. I tried to make my content as diverse as Gary Vee's in regards to like video content, IGTV, carousel images, plain images, like asking a bunch of different questions. I was on Instagram stories every single day of the week, nonstop. So I'm honestly not sure what I did wrong. Um, I felt like I put in a lot of effort, but I guess I'll have to relook at the content. I will be redoing this social experiment with a blank, fresh new account. So if you want to subscribe to stick around for that, um, I'm interested to see what that does. Because as a social media manager, I have noticed for brands and different influencers that I work with, if you have a brand new account, like you're starting fresh, you've only had your account for a year, those people tend to take off faster than people that have had an account for years and years. That's kind of like stagnant. So I'm gonna do this all over again to make myself go crazy and just to see the results. Literally one of my best friends started her Instagram, I think like a year and a half ago with her serious posting and being really focused on being an influencer and she has like 150,000 followers now. So that's just so awesome that she grew so fast. I know a lot of people that have had accounts for years and have really great content and they just struggle to grow too. So I'm not sure what's going on. I, even though this experiment was a fail, I still love Gary Vee. I think he's really, really great. Hopefully if he sees this and Gary Vee, if you do see this, please tell me what I'm doing wrong. Go look at my content. Obviously, I know Gary Vee, you're a dude, and my content is more like fashion and fitness, but if you want to look at it and let me know, am I crazy? What am I doing wrong? I'm trying to, like, make my content fun and stuff and entertaining, but yeah. Anyway, also, if you have no idea who Gary Vee is, go look him up. Go hit him up. His whole thing is about, like, posting, being consistent online, and also providing value, whether it be, like, in the form of education or entertainment and a bunch of other stuff. Also, if you didn't know, I'm a social media manager for major brands and for some reason, I cannot grow my own account. I can grow everyone else's account. I can help my friends that are influencers grow. I can help these brands grow. And I don't know why. I have some sort of mental block that doesn't let me myself grow. So it's very, very frustrating. If you wanna learn how I grew those accounts, I have linked my course down below for social media management. It literally ranges between 10 and 50 bucks, but depending on when you get it and if it's on sale, super affordable. Anyway, if you enjoyed today's video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you want to stick around for the other video, how I'm going to be redoing this, hit the subscribe button down below. That will be coming soon and I will see y'all next time. Bye.